Hello everyone, my name is Tomás Danos and this is Table. In this episode, I brought you a Hungarian classical street food. It's more like a beach food actually. It's a deep fried flatbread called langos. This is a really, really simple food, and I'm totally sure that these ingredients can be found in any household. Flour, water, sugar, oil, yeast, and a touch of salt. First, we need to dissolve half a tablespoon of sugar, and then sprinkle the yeast in it. We need approximately five minutes for the yeast to start working. It's key to always follow the exact measurements when you're making any type of dough. The chemistry have proved itself correct again. The yeast is done, so let's mix it with the flour. And then add two pinches of salt and approximately one tablespoon of oil. We mix all the ingredients together in this bowl and then we add the dough to the mixer to get the perfect result. If you don't have a kneading machine like mine, don't worry, because this step can be easily done by hand. I will show you how. After the ingredients are mixed together in a bowl, we put some flour on the kitchen counter, and then you need to follow these steps to achieve the perfect dough. First, you need to pull the dough, then push the dough, and then you turn 90 degrees, and again. You pull, you push, and you turn. And these are the steps you need to repeat until you reach the perfect consistency of the dough. After the dough is kneaded, we put it into a previously oiled bowl. We let it rest until its size doubles. Our dough has risen perfectly, so we can start to separate it into portions. We put some oil on the kitchen counter, and then we separate the dough into eight equal pieces. We form little balls and leave it to rest for another 10 to 15 minutes. The portion dough is in perfect condition, so now we can start to shape them. We put some oil on our hands, that makes our job a lot easier. After we got this round shape, we submerge them into sizzling oil. Here we are with our deep fried flatbreads. Now we need to dress these up. I prepared three variations for you. One with sour cream and garlic oil, one with sheep's cottage cheese and dill, and just for the lovers of desserts, one with walnut, apricot jam, and some chocolate sauce on top. We start with the sour cream and the garlic. This makes an awesome savory snack. At first we top it with lots of sour cream, and then it's time for the garlic oil. A good garlic oil is very easy to make, but that's a different story. Use it generously. Our second variation is the dill and sheep Scottish cheese. This one also starts with a good amount of sour cream, then crumble the fresh sheep skirt on top of it. These two make an excellent combination together. And let's welcome the Sherbo flavored langos. Not exactly a usual combination that can be found at every kiosk by Lake Balaton, but believe me, you have to try it. Marmalade or jam, chocolate, walnuts. What can go wrong unless we are allergic to nuts? These are three variations for the Hungarian deep fried flatbread. Please enjoy your language. Hmm. 